What's good? It's your boy Hurricane. Giving your children this full form. Do y'all see the Trojan horse? When is all your businesses gonna motherfucker take the government, the court? The Supreme Court, that is. Or are y'all afraid? Let me ask y'all a question. Not everybody, but small business owners. Small business owners. This is for y'all. I gotta ask y'all a question. Or for those who know anybody with small businesses, ask them this question. Ask them these questions. Did you shut down because you saw somebody coming to your business, coughing, probably sneezed, maybe just once, and then suddenly one of your employees got sick and he ended up bedridden? Right? And then he call in talking about motherfuckers sick with COVID or whatever, but it was probably just a regular ass fucking flu or cold, whatever. Ask them, did anybody come in a business, cough or sneeze, and one of your employees got sick? All right? Then, I want you to ask them. Did you shut down your business because the government said so? Because if you don't shut down your business, you're going to be locked up or fined. That's the real question. Did you shut down your business because you saw the virus happening around you? Or did you shut down the business because the government told you to? Ask, ask them that. And I'm asking y'all that. I hope. Y'all leave a comment, share, subscribe. I don't give a fuck. But we need to to motherfucking know this because I remember when the shit first started. It said uh, this would be done in about two, three weeks probably. Some people say, all right, this would be a month or two. Well, this is eight months later. Nobody still got their freedom back. This has triggered a lot of people losing their jobs. Niggas can't pay their rent, foreclosures, or even pay for the business that they shut down because they still got to pay motherfucking rent and taxes on that shit. This is the changing of the mindset. I want y'all to look up Klaus Straub from the World Economic Forum. He talks about this. What stood out is what he said. The changing of the mindset. The changing of the mindset. Understand what I'm just saying. The changing of the mindset. Now, I talked about psychological warfare before. So now y'all don't see that this is psychological warfare. Keep everybody in their houses. Keep people away from each other. This is to prevent a real revolution. A real one. Not the bullshit that y'all see on television. But a real revolution. Changing of the mindset. That shit just stood out with me. Not many people that's already poor and in poverty right now. Not many people are homeless right now. You know, even if, like, remember, people got to pay rent. So, if a motherfucker don't got no job and they can't pay rent, then they're going to lose their crib. And, chances are you won't be able to stay with nobody because at the end of the day, you got to pay them to stay with you. I mean, I mean, um, they got to pay them because you're staying there. So, if that's not happening on both ends, guess what's going to happen to the person that don't have no money or no job and nobody to stay with because you got to pay a motherfucker. They're going to be homeless. And what people don't really truly understand, since this motherfucking lockdown, it's been a lot of construction going on. Working on buildings, working on towers, working under your streets. What's going on? More cameras, 5G towers, sensors. 
Do y'all see this? Do y'all see it? But nah, we focus on the president. We focus on who's going to be in office. Damn, black people still don't get it. Or, fuck it, black people, American people, whatever. You still don't get it. You love y'all masters that much that y'all will give up y'all freedom. Give up y'all businesses. For the powers that be. New York already put a bill. Mandatory, mandatory vaccinations. There is mass exodus from L.A. And people that have an opinion or viewpoint about what's going on in the world. We get blocked, deleted, demonetized, hate speech, disturbing to other people. It really don't make no sense, man. It really don't make no sense. I really wish people wake up and and stand up for their business. But this leads back to the question. Did you shut down your business because the government threatened to lock you up? Or did you shut down the business because you really saw a virus around you? People dropping like flies. Everybody getting all sick around you. Just everybody in the ICU. That's the question. So, it's your boy Hurricane giving you truth in his full form. Yes. Just asking a question. Did you shut down because the government says so? Or did you really see the virus acting? Because how can the shit start in China and then suddenly get over here and we are the country with the highest count. It don't make no sense. It don't make no sense. Biggest scam since 9-11. Biggest scams. Biggest scam ever. I'm out.